Hey, how's it going guys, and welcome back to another Stock Kings YouTube video, and today we'll be going over Healthier Choices Management Corporation, ticker symbol HCMC. Now we're going to be going over their surprise financial filing of their 8K report to the SEC. We're going to be going over what that is and what that means for the company and also why they filed it. Um, we'll also be going over a new revenue stream that HCMC has announced. And to end the video, we'll be going over some price targets as well as some technical analysis to help you guys better trade this stock. So if you have any interest in HCMC, this is something that you are definitely going to want to stick around for. However, before we get into any of that, if you enjoy this content, please drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you know whenever we come out with new videos and what stocks we are currently talking about. I really do appreciate all the support on this channel, so thank you guys so, so much for that. And I also have my Instagram linked down below if you'd be interested in following that as well. I post new details about this channel daily, so if you want to keep up more to date with what's going on with this channel, please go follow that as well. But getting right here into this daily chart on HCMC on TradingView, we can see that this stock has been consolidating for some time now, just kind of bouncing around in this zone, which what is why what we will likely to see for the uh, future as well until we hit around April 16th. That is when we will start to see more volatility as that is when Philip Morris will respond to HCMC's response um, to their motion to dismiss in this lawsuit. As well, if you are also wondering why I have these support and resistance lines placed where they are, you will have to go to my last HCMC video to figure out where I put these and why. So go check that out if you are confused about that. But let's get right into this 8K filing for HCMC. Um, we have right here pulled up the PDF for them, Form 8K, which they posted on their Twitter. So if you'd be interested in reading this whole 12 page document, you can find this on HCMC's Twitter page. So going into this Form 8K, what an 8, Form 8K is, is an SEC filing that basically is a current report and they are they have to tell the investors a significant financial event that is occurring. So what this means is HCMC has a significant financial event going on in the company and the SEC is saying you have to file this report to tell investors what's going on. Now we'll be going into what um, the significant financial event is and what it means for the company as we scroll down a little bit here. Um, going down, yes, right here. So what this is, is basically a stock swap and they ex kind of explain it in this paragraph here. So if we zoom in a little bit, see this a little better. Um, on March 29th, 2021, Healthier Choices Management Corporation entered into agreements, each in an exchange agreement with certain holders, the holders of the company's indebtedness, the notes in aggregate amount of $1,290,260.64 to the exchange of the notes for $1,172,964,218 shares of the company's common stock at a price per share of 0 0.0011 cents. So what this company is doing, they are swapping stocks to cover in indebtedness. They are paying back debts. Um, the closing bid price of the company's common stock on March 26, 2021, the notes were issued pursuant to the loan and security agreement, uh, the credit agreement dated as of August 18th, 2020. So these debts have been there for a while and they are taking advantage of this kind of huge PR that HCMC has received. They have an influx of cash. So they are using this to take advantage and pay back some debts um, all the way back to August 18th, 2020. Among the Vape Store Inc., the company Healthy Choice Markets Inc., Savvy Healthcare Master Fund LTD, and the Savvy Volatility Warrant Master Fund LTD in connection with the exchange, the credit agreement, and all related loan documents will be terminated and the holders on the assets of the company and its subsidiaries will be canceled. The foregoing description of the exchange agreements does not purport to be complete and is qualified in its entirety by reference to the full text of the agreement. There's also a description of a tier form of exchange agreement dated as of March 29, 2021 by in between Healthier Choices Management Corporation and the holders of indebtedness named therein. So basically what this financial event 
event is. It is a stock swap, and HCMC is taking advantage of all this kind of PR that they've received from the lawsuit with Philip Morris and their extra cash that they have from this kind of um, PR, and they are using it to pay back indebtedness um, to some debts that they had from 2020, which I think is a very smart move. They're taking advantage of all this cash that they have, you know, from this huge kind of influx of people got having their eyes on the company. So that is a very smart move on HCMC. However, this event of using cash to pay back indebtedness usually pushes the stock price down a little bit. However, with their kind of announcement of this new revenue source, they were hoping to kind of adjust to that as well. So if we go over to their Twitter account, they have tweeted um, the new vitamin store, which they have relaunched, which is an online store where you can buy um, basically uh, merchandise from HCMC. They have announced masks as well as hats. And in the tweet, they say live healthier with HCMC, ADAs, and national vitamin and supplement brands now available at HCMC's The Vitamin Store. So you can go uh, to their Twitter account, find this link, or go directly to the store if you want to buy some merchandise from HCMC. And this is just, you know, them adding another revenue source to the company by selling merchandise on The Vitamin Store, which I personally think is pretty cool. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you guys kind of hyped up about this revenue source? We did not see any stuck increase in price because of this and the announcement and didn't seem like investors cared too much about it but let me know what you guys think in the comments are you interested in this new vitamin store and also let me know are you interested in buying anything from this store i think this hat is pretty fresh and i might have to pick up one for myself but let me know what you guys think down in the comments but let's get back to this chart here on hcmc as you can see here, we are continuing to consolidate like we discussed before. We are still uh, below the 50 EMA as well as the 200 EMA on um, the daily chart. So we're kind of in a funky position here, just kind of um, coasting along in this range that we created from the last HCMC video. And again, I am expecting larger amounts of volatility on that April 16th date when Philip Morris has to respond to HCMC's response of their motion to dismiss. So again, mark that on your calendar. April 16th is the date that we will see some increased volatility in Healthier Choices Management Corporation. And hopefully we'll get some increases to the upside and a push up um, above our resistance lines here and when he want to break above this uh, 50 EMA that will be the biggest confirmation of a bullish um, confirmation so it seems as though we have been testing uh, this support here many many times we come down test test and it looks like pre-market today we will be trying to test this again and I would also like to uh, create another support line below this one at the 200 EMA at this time. Continually adjust your support and resistance lines as um, price continues to go. I like to some days just totally clear my chart of support and resistance lines and go at it completely as a naked chart um, if there has been enough price action that I have not adjusted my support and resistance lines. However, I do like um, our daily resistances. We are still around here um, at the 50 EMA and price seems to not be able to break out of this um, resistance area as well. But let's take a look at the 30 minute, kind of get a shorter time frame, And we can really see here that uh, price is just bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. We're not getting much price movement at all. However, this seems like a kind of key area as the 50 EMA is coming down to test price action here. So I think today will be a valuable uh, day for HCMC in the stock price as we will see if we get a break above this 50 EMA or if it continues to um, respect it as a resistance and continues down with it. So let's put another resistance line here at the 50 EMA and kind of see what happens. As of right now, we are currently trading below the 50 EMA. However, this is something that I would like to monitor throughout the day. And I would also like to note that the 200 EMA is a key area of resistance as well. And it seems like we have been respecting this area here as well as another resistance. So we can mark that on our 30 minute chart as well for sure, shorter term trades if you are in HCMC in the short term. However, I do not believe many of you are as there has been a lot of support on HCMC on this channel. 
So hopefully we can get a break above this resistance above the 50 AM EMA on the 30 minute and that will show us on a shorter time frame more bullish confirmations as we continue to move up. But that is all the information that I had for you guys today on Healthier Choices Management Corporation, ticker symbol HCMC. If you enjoyed the video and found it valuable, please drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you know whenever we come out with the new videos and you can keep up to date with all the stocks that I am talking about on this channel. I also have my Instagram linked down below if you'd be interested in that. But as always, guys, I hope you have an excellent day, get some gains in the markets, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.